The Americans Player of the Week, Courtney Williams, continues to prove she's a threat on the court and is looking to lead her team to an even better season than last year. While the Bulls had a good run, they have higher hopes this year, which meant putting in the work in the offseason, something Williams did and something that has definitely shown so far in 2016. Being consistent, I think working on my handles and, and being consistent, like being able to knock down that three-point shot consistently, making sure that I can go left, pull up left, get to the rack left. So because a lot of coaches play me tell them, tell their players make me go left. If they do that this year, they're gonna get killed. Well, I think every off season, um, we've had a we, we've had a different process and different goals for her to to, to work on and to get better at. And uh, every season, every off season, last season she really developed developed range. Going in her sophomore season, going left. So I think now um, uh, her taking a step and playing with USA Basketball and now learning to create for teammates and doing other things besides being that go-to guy in the score, it has really diverse, is, has diversified her game. USF not only made the NCAA tournament last year, they hosted a regional at the Sun Dome and then lost a heartbreaker to Louisville in the second round. The Bulls were about three minutes away from making the Sweet 16 and have worked hard in the offseason to take this year's team up a notch. The goal and expectation is much greater this time around. I'd be disappointed if we're not playing in that second weekend. Um, in March. I want us to win a national championship. Definitely get farther than we got last year. We robbed ourselves last year. So our motivation is winning the whole thing. I feel like if you sit here and don't think that you're going to win the whole thing, I don't know why you're playing. And the man to help USF surpass last year's accomplishments, 15th year head coach Jose Fernandez. Fernandez had led the Bulls to 11 postseasons in the last 12 years. Man, he a genius. Coach is a genius. He is a genius, and I say that because when I went to South Korea and played USA Basketball and to actually see certain coaches, like, they have to really hard now sit down and think about a play. But coach, he just like, look, I need y'all to do this, get here. I wouldn't know what else to do, but, uh, you know, I, I, I have a lot of passion. I love the game, and I love to, uh, uh, to see how these young ladies grow after four years. You know, and then what what they're doing with with their lives after basketball, and, and I got a got a bunch of them playing overseas, and uh, I have I have so many different majors too. Uh, one of my former players just started a foundation. She's a doctor that I went to the other night. So uh, that that's a rewarding piece. But I don't know what else what else I'd be doing. I'd be fishing a lot if I wasn't coaching basketball. Other than winning a national championship, Williams has another goal on a slightly smaller scale, a goal that would most likely need to be accomplished before a national championship could be won. We are definitely going to knock out Connecticut this year. Knocking off the three-time reigning national champs is a tough task, but the last time against UConn, the Bulls hung with UConn as tough as any team this year. One more to go, possibly two if they meet in the American Championship, and who knows, maybe even once more in the NCAA Tournament. UConn and USF will square off in the last game of the regular season on February 29th. The Bulls' only conference loss is to the Huskies, placing them second in the league standings. Williams and the Bulls will close out the week, taking on in-state rival UCF Sunday, and you can catch that one on ESPNU at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.